Hey guys, what's up? It's the guy 64. So today I will be showing you the most efficient farm. Now, when you first look at this, you're saying this does not look super efficient. And well, in my reply, um, I say it is because even if it's not as big and can't hold as many chests without making it larger, all it takes is stone. And if you have something like this where stone and stuff is constantly coming out. That was very quick. You know, you can just get infinite stone pretty much. Not infinite, but a lot. And then make it taller, bigger, whatever. I haven't been wanting to do that because I don't need millions of iron. Um, You can use this farm for onions, iron, coal, whatever you want to. Absolutely anything. Anything that has a totem in this game. Um, you can even use it for sawmills. Um an industrial chest over here so i'll show you this one uh this one's better you, if you, you can have an industrial chest over here and then you can put things in it uh like or or whatever so for example if i put what's something good to put in here just iron ore i'm guessing right here iron ore uh if i put five iron ore in there it'll start coming out um, you usually have to put a little bit more than five iron ore. You can raise this industrial chest higher too, uh, but I don't need that much. So as you can see, here's how it works. The coal totem creates coal, which goes into the industrial smelter and fuels it. And then the iron totems all create iron ore for it to go in. And then this will smelt it and it will fall down through the Plinko farm is what I call it. So the Plinko farm, what it does is there's glass and it's separated each one by a single block. And so it goes all the way down until, you know, here. And then whatever happens, it, it'll just fall through and then it'll go into one of the random chests. Now, if I reset and go back into the front of it, oh, also you can put a ladder here to look at the top. I do that to see everything that's happening. Um, this f fills up very quickly, like very quickly. I think it's about two minutes it will fill up with all of this iron, and you can make this bigger. So like two minutes you can fill up a chest. So for every chest, you get 40 iron, and that's two minutes. So if I have five chests, that's 200 iron every two minutes. But I can increase that, and if I make, let's say, 10 of these farms, then it would go from 200 to 2,000, I think, if I did my math right, per every two minutes. And that's actually insane. Um, I'm not going to do that. I don't need heck tons of iron, so that's why I want to have a certain amount. But yeah, that's that was the most efficient um, farm. Uh... So, you guys can try it, uh, I would like, if you make a video, I would love credit, uh, you don't have to make a video, of course, I can't force you to, but, um, that's pretty much it for this video, I might be on Roblox Skyblock for some time, since, uh, other games like Soul Shatters and Glitch Tale Battle of Souls just completely, I don't know, Soul Shatters, I haven't checked it in a while. Uh, it seems like the community's dying. The Glitch Tale Battle of Souls community has completely died. Um, the staff team has gotten pretty toxic. The owner left the game because he was mad about the game getting worse and it's went from a fun, you know, small amount of grind game where you get some kind of soul and then you can up level it up and then you only need 20 levels until they came out with gaster where you had to get like a gaster void and then get a level 100 and then 50 and it's all this crazy stuff just to get something that's absolutely op and they added fusions or whatever and oh my gosh so i'm done with glitch tail battle of souls i'm sorry to all those fans that you know love my glitch tail battle of souls videos until the game gets fixed, I'm off. I'm not doing it again. But Soul Shatters might be a possibility. I can't do it right now since I'm going to lag so much. Um, 
I lag a lot now. It can get pretty bad. Um, with the amount of lag I'll get, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, oh yeah, also for this farm you can put industrial chests for when they slide out from the sides because you can put like nothing there except for an industrial chest. Here I'll show you. Right here, you can put industrial chest to keep the stuff from falling out, but it doesn't happen too often. Uh, you can extend this too, like I was saying. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much my update. Um, not much videos either because I'm like running out of ideas completely. I even made a video on it, so you can go, you guys can go check that out if you want to. But see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.